Uh, hello. So, um, recently I made uh, a video about the timer and uh, placed it on the forum, like GDevelop forum, and uh, got the answer that uh, uh, this kind of timer might be not too accurate because it will depend on, uh, you know, uh, frame rate. So, frames per second may affect uh, this timer. So, um, I've got a recommendation of creating a more reliable one and uh, I'm gonna show you how to do it right now. Uh, okay, so basically I have um, this text object which it says time and uh, several actions and I'm gonna walk you through them uh, like step by step right now. So uh, here we have condition at the beginning of the scene which means uh, like when your scene starts uh, those two will be executed. So first one is uh, reset the timer time. Let's open it and uh, it's uh, this one start or reset is scene timer and uh, I made variable time. So uh, basically it's a scene uh, timer that gets reset uh, when uh, the scene is uh, started. Oh. Uh, okay so and Another one is kind of kind of same as previous one, but uh, timer's name is second sec. Okay, and uh, then we have a condition when uh, the timer sec is greater than one second. Uh, basically, uh, what we need to do is check if the timer second is greater than one, and it will happen like literally each second because uh, we're gonna reset uh, the timer sec like uh, whenever it's greater than one so when it's greater than one it will be uh, dropped to zero and uh, like each second it's gonna happen each second and uh, uh, with uh, the reset we will uh, change the text of time oh, I'm uh, let me show how exactly this looks here. Okay, so it says start or, or reset scene timer. Uh, and let's open this one so uh, it will be better to understand like which which to pick. So it's modify the text. So we have object time, which is our text object, and uh, uh, we say that it will be equals uh, to and this basically replacement for our uh, time uh, string. So we'll have like text uh, section which will say says time uh, plus um, and here's the small you know um, function basically. I'm not sure if I can call that function but anyway. Uh, okay so it, basically what it does it takes the variable time uh, does this function to it, like action. Uh, basically it just uh, gets um, the value of the timer, I think. Because I, I haven't, you know, looked uh, deeper in it, but uh, it seems like it's doing it. Uh, then we rounded this number and make it a string. So basically we will get uh, the value of uh, timer time. And uh, uh, we're doing it each second because uh, we're checking if sec uh, timer is greater than one second and resetting the timer each second. So, and as a result, uh, we'll get this uh, this uh, text field updated. So let's let's test it. Okay, that's maybe because. Um, I have low battery and it's throttling. Okay, here it goes. Yeah, as you can see, it's just updating each second. And I think uh, with the you know low battery on on the laptop, uh, previous one uh, will be not too accurate because uh, frame rate might be dropped right now. Anyway, so this this solution i think it's much better and uh, i recommend to use it if you if you need to you know just 
uh, count uh, how much time is uh, elapsed uh, from the beginning of the scene. Uh, okay, uh, thank you for watching. Uh, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, I will be glad to ask them in the comments or like anywhere. And uh, like you can, you can like uh, drop me some questions regarding different topics uh, for GDevelop, and uh, like I will check them when I have time and try to like explain how to do it, or, or because you know uh, I'm interested in game development, but uh, like I don't always have time to to dig it, and uh, with the direct uh, question, it will be easier to me to just uh, dig in without much preparation. Okay, thank you.